Yo, how's it going? We're gonna jump straight into this, and if you couldn't tell by the title, today we are gonna be runecrafting double death runes for one hour on the max account to see how much profit and XP we can get. We're starting with zero death runes and exactly 100,000 pure essence, which we'll buy back at the end in order to calculate our profit. A lot of you probably know that before raids and Zora came out, double nature runes used to be the meta for money making, even in RuneScape 2. But on May 18th of this year, 2017, the ability to runecraft double death runes at level 99 runecrafting came out, which became the new runecrafting meta for profit. Of course, death runes crashed hard when that happened, but they're still worth more than nature runes and the XP is better. Now, I want to explain the perks of doing this on a max account versus any other account that just happens to have 99 runecrafting. The first benefit is when you try to enter the inner ring of the abyss, the odds of you successfully getting in is based on your level in that skill. So if you have 50 mining and you're trying Trying to mine the rock, you have a 50% chance of success. Or if you have level 75, you have a 75% chance. Or if you're maxed, you have level 99, so you have a 99% chance of getting in. And this could be a huge difference in speeding up your abyss runs. The next benefit is just having the max cape. And this in itself is so useful. And first off, it acts as a graceful cape, so you'll get the full perks of the graceful set. It also acts as the runecrafting cape, so as long as you have it equipped, your pouches will never degrade and it allows you to get into any runecrafting altar so you don't have to bring a talisman or tiara. The cape also works as an emergency teleport since it has like at least a dozen different teleport options, but probably the most useful one, in this case for me at least, is the construction perk of being able to teleport to your house. I have the pool in my house which restores run energy, and I drink from it every 3-4 to four trips rather than using staminas, and I'm sure it's a few ticks slower this way, but I prefer doing this and it saves a bit of money as well. Even though it takes a couple seconds to load the house every time, you can teleport away on the same tick that you drink from the pool, so it's not too bad. Another perk of the max cape is once per day you can restore your run energy to 100% and it'll give you a 1 minute stamina effect. So just in case you forget to restore your energy and you're in the middle of a trip, you can just use the stamina perk of the max cape. So yeah, the max cape is super useful and of course it also provides a bit of defensive stats which the graceful cape doesn't give. Okay, something else about being maxed is when you're 126 combat, no one is really ever going to mess with you because most of the abyss PKers are around level 60 to 90 and I don't think I've ever actually been attacked as level 126. Although I would stay away from runecrafting on the 2k worlds because there's higher odds of running into more high levels there. And before we finish up the hour, I want you to keep in mind that I'm not a tick efficient player and I know I'm not getting the best rates possible, but this is what you can expect a person with an average to slightly below average skill level can earn from runecrafting double death runes for one hour. So we've got 30 seconds left, which isn't enough time for a run, but we'll use that extra time to make up for the cost of the glory charges because it's such an insignificant cost for those. And in this one hour, we gain 26.4k runecrafting XP, plus a bit of agility and mining XP as well. And that doesn't seem too bad. I mean, compared to doing lava runes, it's pretty inefficient. But with the amount of profit we made from this, I'd say we really can't complain. Also, in case you're curious, this is the amount of profit you can make from one inventory. And if you subtract the cost of the pure essence, which is really cheap, it's like 5 to 6 GP each, it's still like 24k per inventory. While we're selling off the runes, let's do some quick maths and calculate the amount of runs. So if we take the 5,292 death runes and divide that by the 108 runes that we make per trip, that's 49 trips in this one hour, or just over 73 seconds per run. And the last thing we gotta do to figure out our profit is just buy back the pure essence to get our stack back to exactly 100,000. And there we go! So. Wow, the total profit that we made from this one hour is 1,174k. So you can earn a bond in three hours of doing this method. And this is consistent money too, there's no RNG or anything like that. However, I'm not making this into a maintain a bond video because if you have 99 runecrafting, then you probably don't need help with earning GP for a bond. I always like to give away the profit that I earn in these kinds of videos, and this time I decided to do it through Discord. So I asked anyone who's free to play to meet me in Lumbridge, and originally I had like a little thing planned out for them. I waited for like 10 to 15 minutes and the only people who were gonna show up were people with free to play alt accounts. And I was just like, I'm sorry bros, that doesn't count. I looked in the clan chat and there was no one in free to play world. So I was about to come up with a different way to give away the money, but then someone came up to me and started talking and said that they've seen my videos, which was pretty cool. And we started talking about how free to play sucks and he or she, probably a he, told me that he just came back to RuneScape and is trying to make money for a bond, so I ended up giving him the money, and I love when they have that kind of reaction where they're just shocked and they can't believe it, 
And I don't know, I think that's one way you can tell that someone really deserves the money. And I just said to use this as inspiration to grind all the way to a bond, and that was pretty much it. The way that I give away the money from these kinds of videos are going to be random every time. And sometimes I'll do it through Discord, a lot of the times it's through the clan chat, but maybe I'll pick a YouTube comment or someone that comments a lot, or I'll just find a random free to play person who deserves it, and you never know. If you want to join the Discord, I have it linked in the description, and then for the clan chat, it's just my username, Mudkip, and it's really not just about giveaways. I mean, there's actually really awesome people in there, and I promise that you can make friends in there easily. I guess you could say, come for the giveaways, stay for the people. But seriously, if you did enjoy the video, then please give it a like, and I'm currently posting every single day at 9am Pacific Standard Time, so if you want to stay up to date on my videos and see more from me, then please subscribe to the channel, it really would mean so much to me. I just want to thank you so much for watching the videos, and for your continued support, and I've got something pretty awesome planned for 5k subs, which I'm really excited about, but that's all for today, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow.